fight card is moving along as we get into our third fight with Glory Rivals 5. And we have number five featherweight of the world, Dennis Boshik, taking on Marco Rios. The tail of the tape. 26-year-old Boshik takes on 23-year-old Rios. We have Boshik with a one-inch height advantage. Both gentlemen wearing the same. With the professional experience, a big edge for the younger Marco Rios with 79 fights. Incredible record with 59% KO ratio, but we know the potential that Dennis Boshik has as he's going in 2-0 in the glory ring. Dennis Bosick, the troublemaker, signature strikes is the kick, and outside of the ring, he's an industrial mechanic. So we'll beat you up and then fix your car. <laughs> Marcos Rios, Wasabi, uh, he's out of Dojo Serpiente in Buenos Aires, Argentina, and he's the reigning ISK Argentina national champion. And this bout is set for three rounds of kick up boxing action and the weight class of 65 kilos. Entering seat first, the fighter standing in the black corner. He wears a purple trunks with black and white trim. He officially weighs in 65 kilos. He stands with a professional record of 69 victories, three defeats, seven draws, and 41 of those victories coming by the fast way of knockout. Representing Argentina, Marcos Rio. And introducing his opponent across the ring in the white corner, wearing the black trunks with white trim. He also weighs in the same 65 kilograms. He stands with a record of 37 victories, eight defeats, one draw, and nine of those victories coming by the fast way of knockout. Representing Germany, Deutschland, Dennis Bosse. And now, giving out the final instructions, your referee in charge, Romel Gutierrez. Three rounds. Last minute instructions before we get into this third featherweight fight. Fight. Dennis Voshik in the white gloves, Marcos Rios in the black. Good start by Voshik using that jab right away, establishing range early. Yeah, watching tape on Rios, he's, a, he's an explosive fighter. You can tell by his shape and size that he really wants to get on the inside, inside Fight. uses overhands, good with his kicking as well. As we just saw, and explosive off the counter. Yeah, I like how he took that angle to get off the ropes as well, but Look at that fantastic speed Fight. in his legs. Fight. Fight. Dennis Voshik is a, a very good pressure fighter. He's going to keep you against the ropes and watch the speed and the way he throws his hand combinations. And then he'll mix in a nice high kicks. Fight. Marco Rios, remember, is the more experienced fighter here. He's only 23 years old. I like how he just snuck that kick over Voshik's shoulder. Almost didn't even see it coming. Look how technical Voshik is with his boxing. You're gonna see him level change very well, go head, body, head. He doesn't throw all of his shots with maximum power. He sets them up and he'll can put that power once he feels the opening. Exactly, textures his punches. Some yeah. fast, some hard, yep. mixes them up. You never know which one, which one is gonna be the big, the big one. Yeah, that's one of the main Fight. things a lot of you amateur fighters watching is learning to change the power in your punches is, is a big skill as you get more experience. Can't throw everything with power all the time. But Marco Rios is doing a good job fighting backwards. He's finding his kicks off the ropes. He's countering well. Although Voshik is keeping him on the ropes, landing big shots. Stop. They're both doing Fight. some good work, forward and backwards. What I've noticed so far about Marcos Rios, he uses a lot of same side attacks. You'll use him for a right hand, right kick, or, yep. or switch. But here comes Voshik. Those are those combinations we keep talking about. And the way he mixes the body to go to the head. 
That's why he's landing so well. He just doesn't hit you in the head. Watch him go to the body, set things up. Nice angle away from that left kick too. Good defensive movement. Rios, when he hits, it's got power. He just saw that right hand left kick. A few more punches after. Didn't seem to bother Boshi too much though. Rios with 81% of his shots landed so far. Stop. Yeah, Rios is showing he's very explosive. Especially when those kicks fly, they come quick. Just hear him slamming into Vushik, man. Those kicks are gonna add up. You can't keep taking too many of those. He's got big legs, a nice strong frame, but Vushik's pressure still did well. He was able to land his combinations, his level changes. Definitely a close, close round. It's an interesting technique his corner's yeah. using to hold his nostrils open to get more air. I've never seen that before. I've seen it a few times. Really? Yeah. After all the corner, after all the commentary I've done, I've seen it. I've seen it all, all the different uh, techniques in the corner. Yep. <laughs> but Dennis Voshik, that pressure did well. I mean, you got to think he could have stole this round with these pressures, the combinations. When it comes to glory scoring, it's damaging shots. And it, to me, it looked like Voshik maybe got the bigger, best shots in the round. Yeah, Rios definitely had his back up against the ropes more that round. Can't take anything away from Rios because he was still landing, being against the ropes. But pressure, level changing, the bigger shots, in my opinion, possibly came from Voshik from Germany. will actually be heading back to Germany for Glory 83, February 11th. So make sure you put that in your calendars. Some good combination work here from Rios. Stop. Back to where the, the first round finished, pressuring. Rosic landing more punches. Rios definitely ahead with the kicks. You'll see him mixed up to the legs, body. We've seen him double it up and triple it up a few times. Just snuck one in there. You can definitely see the IQ of Dennis Voshik, though. Like, he just, a lot of people think of pressure fighters as, like, bruisers and brawlers. But there's a, such a calculated side to pressure fighting. And just watch how Voshik does it. Slowly tracks you, stays in front of you, and he just mixes his punch as well. I love when he gets those left hooks flying with level changes as well. Nice solid one too to the inside. Yep. He's not, let, he's not letting Reels get those explosive strikes off anymore. He's in his face more, trying to be first and be last. Nice knee from Reels. That would be a good strategy if Voshik's coming in with a high guard like that. Let's try to intercept and counter just as he's doing there. Finds a little home for that uppercut up the middle. Yep. It's a good strategy versus high guard. Slip your head offline, find the uppercut. Man, the boxing of Voshik though, so slick, so tight. He's yeah. really turning everything over. Sharp, very technical fighter. He's one of these young fighters I'm, I'm really excited for. The Another one who will be, I believe, fighting in uh, Glory 83 is uh, Ahmad Chik Musa. Both guys have come up together, fought on the same cards, know each other well. Two young German fighters I'm excited to see grow. But let's not count out Rios here. We've seen how explosive he can be. Ooh. Nice little left hook, but Voshik had an answer for yeah, it. Came right back. Right, a little bit of a spinning back fist, uh, back kick, sorry. Again, those flashy techniques, they score high with the judges, and Voshik's got him in his toolbox and uses them well. Right. I think our last spinning back kick knockdown was you against Kobayashi. Ooh, almost Stop. answered the foot phone there. Again, Rios sneaking that kick in just over the shoulder and landing it on the neck. Bosha continuing Stop. to keep pressuring as we end that second round. Still good action from Dennis Bosha. He seems to be taking off and uh, finding his momentum. 
been speaking a lot about Glory 83, but we also have 80, Glory 84. Saturday, March 11th, returns to the Netherlands for the first time in 2023. It's champ versus champ as featherweight champ Petch moves up a weight class to attempt to become Glory's second two simultaneous division champion as he takes on current lightweight champion to Johnny Bastati for the lightweight title. Tickets go on sale. Make sure you log into glorykickboxing.com. It's Glory 84, and it comes your way March 11th from the Netherlands. Just coming back, seeing Rios triple up that kick. Two of them found a home in the body. Yeah, there was that back and forth exchange. Both of them finding those hooks and uppercuts. How do you have this fight scored, Tiffany, going into this third round? Man, going into the third, this is a tough one. I'm going to have to give it to, to Boshit. I think his boxing is just, he's been able to do a bit more and keep Rios against the ropes and be more dominant. Yeah, I, I think it's could be 2 nothing Boshit, but that first round was close, so it could be one round apiece. So let's see, uh, could come down to this third round. It looked like Rios picked up the pace last round based on our scoring. Our stats here, but that uppercut, beautiful job from Wasabi Rios. There's a whole lot of spinning back fists. So right. a lot, man. They, the judges, they, they like to see it. They like to see the spinning kicks, the spinning back fists, the jumping knees. And it's also the fighter's mentality. I feel if one fighter throws it, it's almost the invitation for the next. The yeah, other you fighter spin, I spin. <laughs> yes, you have to. That's the game. Marco Rios suffering a low blow. Taking some time to recover. For those of you just watching, it looks like we might be in, inside a, an arena, but the fights are actually taking place outside in Tulum, Mexico. Unique environment for our first show of 2023. Seeing the action with some solid boxing from Boshik. Main combination on his way in. Right back to work with the level changing too. He's just so good with his range. He knows when to throw his punches, knows when to throw his kicks, uses long weapons versus short. He's really, really developing. He's getting better every time we see him. Oh yeah, I mean, 26 years old, so a lot of potential to still keep going and learning. His opponent, Marco Rios, only 23 years old. Both very young in their careers. But Dennis Voshik would love to make himself 3-0 in glory. And he's got one minute to do it. Not Muay Thai, no sweeping. <laughs> it almost looked like he kicked it, but you can kick the leg, but you can't sweep it. It's not the karate kid. Don't sweep the leg. Don't sweep the leg. <laughs> Bullshit just walking forward. You can tell he's found his rhythm. Doesn't really have to have anything to fear as far as uh, from what Marcos Rios is throwing. Yeah, Rios is having to use that clinch a little bit more now. There you go. Nice. Back to his combinations. Stop. Ten seconds left in this third and final round for our third fight on the Glory Rivals 5 card. That left hook of Oshik. It lands clean, he turns those hips over, man. He's going over. You can tell Marcos Rios has that Muay Thai style. 
But Dennis Voshik looked like he popped his head back in that last exchange. Ooh, look at the body of Voshik from where those kicks were landing. Didn't seem to bother him too much, though, because he kept letting his hands go. But, ooh, look at that. Look at that yeah. bruising. I saw a few left kicks land, but seemed like a lot more landed and did some damage on those ribs of Voshik. Another exciting fight from Tulum. And the nice weather, the beaches, and some great fights tonight in Tulum. For this third fight, looked like Dennis Voshik kind of did enough with his pressure, but we saw some good moments from Marcos Rios as well. And again, at only 23 years old, with a record that he has and a performance like that, you know. Being so young and already so experienced, I mean, this guy is, he could be dangerous. In the next year, next two, just keep fighting, keep growing. What'd you get from Dennis Voshik in this fight? Did you see an improvement from his last one? I did, definitely. I mean, again, we continue to talk about his tight boxing, but I mean, it, it really was his, his key to victory here. It was super impressive. Everything was tight. He found his openings. Also threw in some of those that we saw, the spinning techniques. I mean, we'd like to see it more and more. Yeah, he's definitely a prospect I'm looking forward to and seeing more of just the way he mixes his hands. But you see little improvements that he can have. And once maybe he tightens up some little things, he can really be a top contender. From the strikes, you can see, you know, Voshik really attacking the head. Where Marco Rios, you can see some where that bruising came from. 55 of 71 strikes to the body. And he went more frequently to the leg as well. Strikes per minute. Looks like Wosik definitely slowed down a little bit. But again, round two, 21, 50% uh, versus 52%, really even there. Yeah, throwing a lot of strikes for a, a fantastic fight. We'll make it official soon. The ring announcer Pablo Flores gets the judges' scorecards. And ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds of kickboxing action, we now go to the judges' scorecards. Judge Eduardo Santos scored the bout 29 28 in favor of Bosic. Javier Zuniga, 29 28 for Rios. And Manuel Conde scored the bout 29-28 for your winner by the way of split decision from Argentina, Marcos Rios. Your winner by split decision, Marco Rios. Maybe not a decision I necessarily agreed with. I thought Voschik did enough with his pressure. Round of applause Randy, for his but, opponent uh, let's from Germany, from Dennis Bosik. Excellent fight, man. So in the first round, you hit him with several spectacular head kicks and a knee to the head. Were you surprised that he did not drop? <laughs> Hay resistido tanto. Eh, bueno, primero que nada, eh, es gracias a mi equipo que estuvimos entrenando muy fuerte, eh, todo un mes completo, entrenando duro, 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 duro. Y nada, sin nada más que decir, thank you, eh, promotion, glory, kickbox, opportunity eh, of fighter. Y muchas gracias, eh, War of Nation, por otra vez eh, convocarnos a su evento. Eh, thank you very much. Yeah, first and foremost, it was a 30-day training camp. Thank you to my team and thank you to, to both War of Nations and also to Glory for this opportunity. Hey, once again, great fight, man. Congratulations. Gracias. Bueno, gracias a todas las personas que están haciendo el aguante. Esta pelea es especial para mí, es especial para mi equipo, pero mi hermana ayer cumplió años y Muy feliz cumpleaños, hermana. Te quiero muchísimo. Yeah. Thank you to all the people who, who came out and support me. And it's a special day for me because my it was my, my sister's birthday. Happy birthday to my sister. And thank you to all. 
Congratulations, Marco Rios gets his 70th professional win and maybe not the most favorable decision, but the fight card keeps rolling.